familiar with it, but it was on um, cable report this morning, and I know y'all, well, I'm an independent, so I'm not a party member. Um, but the cable people usually bring out stuff that they, the broadcasters are liable, but it looks like none of their stuff is refuted very much, but this is a question. <laughs> They said this morning that students fresh out of college and young people 30 in that class who generally do not carry health insurance uh, might under this present uh, bill be forced to buy health insurance and if they do not buy health insurance then they will be taxed up to two and a half percent of their gross income. That may be in one proposal, but let me say this. Part of the idea here is we could either keep what we have, which is the just different systems I've explained, with prices that are going higher and higher every day, or we could think about having employers cover more people and requiring them to, or having individuals have coverage. Now, any way we do it, we're going to pay for it, okay? There's no way to get away from paying for this. We're paying for what we have now, and price is going up. So we are thinking about, and if some people have objections to that, I thank you for raising it. Either individuals have to have coverage, or employers have to provide coverage, or we have those that are covered and those that are not covered, but we're going to pay for it anyway. We're just trying to pay for it. So you're right, you've heard correctly, it's not in every bill, but it's the young people don't think they need it, but they get service in emergency rooms. for coming here today because you promised it and you keep your promise. My question is, what is the incentive for people like me, for example, that have uh, present coverage with their private companies and have to compete on, with those companies have to compete unfairly with the government program, and what is then the incentive of those who qualify for the public health care program to eventually get out of it? because it's not something that, that the economy can really take care of. So what is the incentive for me to keep my insurance, and what is the incentive for those who right now doesn't, don't have the means to pay for their health insurance to get in the program, but get out of the program too? Yeah. That's, that's, thank you. That's, that is the major argument. That's the major argument against creating another public plan. Now remember we already have Medicare, which is a public plan. Broke. Medicaid, which is a public plan. Broke. Veterans, which is a public plan. Broke. And then we have, that's like 50%, 40%, and then under, then we have about 50% that are in private insurance. So that's the argument. And that's why I've leaned, I know some people are like, I've leaned against the public option. private companies, it's hard for them to compete against government. However, listen to this, though. the people in Medicare, which is the largest government program, no, Medicaid is, second largest, like it. That's what I heard today. So, that's what we're trying to figure out. How are they going to get out of it? What's the motivation to buy their own? You didn't answer your question. Mary? I'm, I'm Mike Fazy. I'm a, I employ 
employ approximately uh, 200 and plus people in Homa. Uh, you've been in my facility years ago when we uh, built a softball intrusion board. Uh, I am, my employees, over the years, we've been fighting to keep health care for them, and only have like 38% participation because, as you know, Shop Air Medical Center is right down the street. Well, the answer to me is, oh, well, I'm just going down the street and get it for free. And so it causes my health care costs for the people who are willing to pay for it to go way up. So what I'm asking is why don't, instead of all these thousand pages of stuff we can't understand, why don't the government get with the business people and the, and the working people, the hardworking people, quit punishing the hardworking people. Woo! myself in 20 I'm now 50 so it's been a long tough road and every year y'all pile more taxes and stuff to keep my business going my idea is uh, I don't want to get too long but I got to get this ex example out I had a I had a guy I needed to run a load for me last a couple Saturdays ago and he's gonna make 12 hours overtime when he got his check back, he said he's not working any more overtime because his check was $8 less than when he did work. <laughs> so to fix the problem is, don't tax our overtime. Let the people who want to work, work. But you have to, if they've got no tax on overtime, they have to buy their own health care. You solve both problems. Everybody's going to start spending money and the economy will start rolling. But quit taxing our overtime and people will be glad to go to work and buy their own health Was after Bill Clinton 